Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at reducing image dimension, the size of the image. So this doesn't, I'm not look, referring to now reducing the actual file size, although we will look at that slightly in this video. This is more about if you've taken a picture on your phone, for example, which are usually quite high megapixels, it would be a really large image. If you then move that onto your Chromebook to edit, you might want to reduce the image dimensions. Now, essentially, reducing image, if you, if you increase image dimensions from the original photo, then you would expect the image quality to, to deteriorate. But if you've got an image and you're reducing the image dimensions, you shouldn't really have an issue with the quality of the image deteriorating. However, that's actually not the case if you do it a certain way on the Chromebook. Why it is, I'm not really sure. But if you want to have good images, then I would watch this video because I will show you the difference between doing it on the Chrome OS editor and the re results are not very good compared to doing it a different way, um, which is it's a crazy, but it really does make a difference. So I'll show you now what I mean. So on here then, on the downloads folder, I've got an original image here. Um, I've used this image in a previous video, but I thought I'd use it on this video as well because it's a good one to show you the difference in the quality. So if we look at the dimensions on here, it's currently 4032 by 2268. So that's quite a high image, image dimension. So you might want to reduce that. So in this video, we're going to reduce it to 800 width by 450. And because you're reducing an original image, it shouldn't really have an impact, but for some reason it can do depending on the software you're using so let's let me show you now what i mean so we'll leave the original image there like that i'm going to make a copy of it and paste it like that and just rename it to chrome oh rename that to chrome os editor just so we can remember which one is relating to which one so just leave that like that and then I'm going to make another copy there, paste that like that. Um, we'll leave that like that for now. And I'm going to make another copy because I'm going to show you two other ways you can do it and get a much better result. And it depends on which way you might want to do it, if you want to use which way. So I'll show you them both. So essentially what we're going to do, we've got the Chrome OS editor one here. If we open it up, that's the original image size. It's really easy to reduce the dimensions. You just simply click on there. And the width here, we're gonna change that to 800. We're gonna keep this locked so it keeps the aspect ratio, but we're gonna change that to 800. And that will automatically change the height to 450. Do that, save, or done. That looks great, no issues there. So we close that down. And as you can see there, we've got the Chrome OS editor image there, okay? Um, now, if we open that up, it all looks fine. But then, if we get another one, I'm gonna show you now on this one here, I'm going to open this one with Snapseed. And with Snapseed, this is the original image, we wanna reduce the size. To reduce the image size, you go to settings here. And I've already got it in here, look, 800. So it will automatically reduce the image size to 800 by 450. So all I need to do is to export that. And we put export as, and we just change that to Snapseed. And do save and then close that down. So now we've got the Chrome OS editor, which has been reduced to 850, 450, and we've got the Snapseed, which has been reduced to 850, 450. So if we open up the Chrome OS editor, one like that, you might think that looks okay. If we go back one, that's the Snapseed one. If you have a closer look, they're totally different. So this is the one which we've reduced in the Chrome OS editor. Have a look there on the headphone there. Look at the jagged edges, as you can see. Also, look at the text. It's not barely readable. And this here. I will zoom in. The only problem is when you're zooming in an image, 
it's going to look deteriorated because we've reduced it. This is the original size, but it does show it a little bit better what I mean. Like as you can see there, look, there's no text. And here, none of that's there. And this jagged edge there. You go to the Snapseed one, no jagged edge there. And the text, I'll zoom in, but that is gonna slightly deteriorate the quality for this actual zooming in part but you can still see that the text is there clearer and this is much clearer as well which is really crazy so essentially you may it may change depending on the images you use but even images of pictures if 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 one is doing a much better job than the other you, you that is something you need to think about and essentially or they're both doing the same job as far as reducing the image dimensions to 800 to 450 so why is the one so much poorer quality than the other and also the worst thing on it as well is the chrome os editor one we've reduced is 276 kilobytes the one in snapseed which is much better quality is only under 32 kilobytes so it's like half the file size but you're getting a better end result which is really crazy now i am going to show you another way you could do it as well and we will just use the original image to do it this way so the original image like i says here is the dimensions there but another way you can do it, if you, if you don't want to use Snapseed or you, you just want a different way of doing it, if you go into your Google Drive and then just do new and then do slides and then do a blank presentation, if you just get rid of them. Now we want to set the dimensions for this. So this is a bit more long-winded, but not massively. Go to File, go to Page Setup, change that to Custom, change that to Pixels, um, we're doing 800 by 450 so we know that that is the same dimensions of the other ones we've done so that is now set the dimensions are set correctly insert the original image it doesn't matter that the original image is much higher in pixels because we're going to reduce it to what we want on the to reduce to 800 by 450 so just in to use the original image like that you need to make sure the borders go to the end. You don't want to drag images that way, ideally, or that way, because you, you'll lose aspect ratio. You just want to drag from the corners so you keep the aspect ratio. Doing that, we now know that that is 800 by 450 because we already set the pixels. And then go to File, and then Download. And we do it as a JPEG, because that's what the other two are. Do as a JPEG. And then if we go back, it's this one here, Untitled Presentation JPEG. Open that up. Again, the quality is roughly the same as Snapseed. I can't see massive differences. There may be differences depending on the images you're using, but compared that to the Chrome OS editor, it's much better quality than that, but also, on the one which we've done in Google Slides and exported, there must be some sort of compression when you do an export because that's much smaller as well. So the end results are Chrome OS Editor offers you the worst result, end result with the highest file size, which is just crazy. And then Snapseed, that gives you a good result with half the file size. But if you do it in Google Slides, then you're getting a much lower file size. Don't get me wrong, there's other ways you can reduce file size. And this video isn't really about actual image file size. That's something different. This was just about changing uh, an image in relation to dimensions. But this is something I would really bear in mind if you do work with images. Because I'm quite shocked that the Chrome OS editor, that's the end outcome, which is... When you look at the text and just them jagged edges there, it's it's the difference is just it's just unreal. So do bear that in mind. Now I will show you something quickly as well. Um, if you go here and just go to Squoosh, which is a Google image editor, it's more for in decreasing file sizes, and you can just get it directly from the browser. If we open up this here. 
And again, you could just do, so this is another method of doing it. You could, but bear in mind, this will include compression. Um, so we could, again, we could just open up the original image like that. It looks massive because it is a really big image, but you could do resize there. There's different methods. You can have a play about with all these different methods if you want to. I just leave it on the default. And again, if you change that to 800, because it's locked in place, automatically changes it to 450. This may look awful quality now, but bear in mind we've reduced the image size, so don't take too much notice of what you're seeing here in relation to the end result. The, bear, the one thing you do need to bear in mind, this does include compression, so it would, you would expect a slightly deterioration in image quality, and this is why the Google Slides most likely has compression built in as well there because it's roughly the same file size and if you download that you don't you could obviously increase the file size quality if you wanted to there but again if you download that that's another method of how you can reduce the image dimensions and again the quality is very similar to what you get when you use google slides or snapseed so essentially in the file size is roughly the same as what you get out of Google Slides, slightly different because it includes slightly different compression, which is what Squoosh is for anyway. So really all this video is about is just to let people know that if you do work with images a lot and you do reduce the image dimension, I'd think twice before using the Chrome OS editor to do that because the quality is nowhere near as good and it's taken up twice the amount of file size. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.